Swanage Railway Station where we'll be investigating the effects of momentum on the coupling process of trains and their carriages. In order to determine the momentum of the train before and after, we use the equation momentum before is equal to the momentum after. The moving train carriage comes towards the stationary carriages and the trains couple together. The momentum of the train before they connect is transferred to the other carriages. Therefore, momentum is always conserved. The momentum before is equal to the momentum afterwards. In an ideal situation, ignoring resistances and other aspects that will alter the final result, the equation will be something like this. Considering that the train's weight is 60 tonnes and the five carriages weigh 33 tonnes each and the max coupling speed is 2 miles per hour, we can use the momentum equation to calculate the momentum before and after. As you can see from the video, our predicted calculations do not transpire to the actual results due to energy loss. When the train couples to the carriages, the collision is not perfectly elastic. Energy is lost due to friction between the wheels of the train and the track. Air resistance and sound energy are also lost. The value calculated from our theoretical analysis is an overestimate for the actual final speed of the carriages and train. The spring-loaded buffers on the train and carriages reduce the impact. These act as a damping system by increasing the time it takes for the collision to occur. Thank you very much to the Swanage Railway Trust and to the Tropico Cafe in Swanage for allowing us to film. We hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. I'm a George. <laughs> 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 I did it. <laughs> <laughs>